Welcome to Tiny Rails, the fun little game with the train. And the latest update, which has added an event for the Harvest Island, the Thanksgiving event. This is my train going past. And if I've got this right, I should be coming into a port so I can jump over to Harvest Island. Yes, I am. The USA East Port, which still exists. So if I can find Pumpkin Port, Harvest Island, is where I'm going. Which is, this is Harvest Island, which if you squint, kind of looks like a bird. There's the head, couple of feathers. So, could be viewed as a turkey. I will send my train in that general direction. And let it start moving. This is the American Thanksgiving event. And the event, according to the wonderful little update that came with the update, is actually due to start at the weekend. But the island is here, the update is here, so which means I can go to Harvest Island and work on the cargo requirements for each station, as well as buy the station and upgrade them. I had 16.5 million just over before I started doing these upgrades. I will have a lot less by the time I finished, but I'm going to upgrade all these stations. I also know from having looked at Harvest Island before I started recording that I need carrots, pumpkins and apples for some of the stations as well as some unique items. So I have some carrots, apples and uh, pumpkins. Pumpkins you can get from Canada or were left over from the last event and apples and carrots you can find in the center part of America, or center part of USA. Uh, Harvest Island, I have bought or upgraded four, 14 train stations and once I complete all these six tasks I will get this engine and caboose. My current train has the Spooky Island train which I got from completing that event and the caboose and a few of the cars. It's got the Skelly Food car, the Skelly Fun car, the Skelly People car there's a skelly cargo car back here somewhere as well. Cranberry Cove. What do you require? Okay. I can't fit everything I want on my train right now. I'll take the carrots. I don't need the pizza or the onions. Or the steel. I must have picked them up from an obstruction somewhere. And I'll take as many of the mashed potatoes as I can for right now. Because I'm going to need them. And hopefully... No, I'm not departing in the right direction. Oops, that was a bit of a mistake. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go there for starters. Or there. Where's it, where wants the carrots? Full Fork. Well, I'm heading that direction. I'll head towards Full Fork. Yes, so I have a load of these skelly cars from the wonderful last event on my train. They're all fully upgraded. And once the event starts and I start picking up new cargo cars from Harvest Island, they'll get replaced with the new cars. But I call this the American Thanksgiving because I believe the Canadian Thanksgiving is sometime in October. I only know this because my work calendar gets updated with all the holidays where we have offices and we have offices in Canada, as well as a whole variety of places around the world. Spuds, it wants, okay, beets, I can actually get them in Africa as well. And this wants whatever that is. Can't get enough of gravy, okay. Yes, I need a lot more apples and the carrots as well. Because it, it requires 350 apples, 350 carrots, 50 pumpkins. This is just for the station resources. Plus, I imagine I'll need a load more for the actual event, when the event takes place. As I say, which is due to, I believe, start at the weekend. But this update came out on, well, today. At 
technically it came out yesterday evening but it should automatically have downloaded if you have the game as of 4.34 this morning on the, is it the can't even remember the date 3rd of November there you go, I had to go check that ok there's a place called Brussels Sprouts Harvest Island which I'll be coming into shortly Spuds, Brussels Sprouts, ok I can't stand Brussels Sprouts ever since I was forced to eat them as a child they are truly awful but there again I know people who absolutely adore Brussels Sprouts to me they're truly disgusting as a lot of people I'm aware of think that way but somehow they always get served at Christmas and I assume at Thanksgiving not big on Thanksgiving meals well, certainly not this year I'm not going anywhere for Thanksgiving because well I'm not going anywhere uh, okay I can actually use some mashed potatoes I'll pick up the carrots while I'm here Oh, pumpkin pies on this island. I don't need more pumpkins right now. I'll pick up the beets because that'll fill my train up. So yes, I'm going to... When the last event on Spooky Island or whatever it was called was... you immediately went into the event from the first day. Or at least I did. So I was trying to complete the event tasks as well as the cargo requirements for all the stations which took me a while this time round if the event doesn't start until the weekend which is what it said then I've got time to go to all the stations fill all the cargo requirements and then collect a load of additional stuff and shove it in my depot for when the event starts which will make the event a lot easier for me Plus this island seems to be a lot smaller than the previous spooky island. I can't remember its full name, but the, the Halloween event. As that one was a much larger island, even if a large amount of it wasn't actually used. It's full fork, which means I can get rid of my 98 carrots, even if it is not enough for everything. Oh, I'll just take it all. I'm bound to need a lot of it. I do like the graphics on this, wonderful, with all the vegetables in front of the train. So we're going to... where are we going to next? Ham Hills. And Turkey Town. Don't know what that is. There's an obstruction. It's not the pumpkin pie, but I've now got some of it, so I'll find out what that is. Squash. Okay. There is no current demand for sweet potatoes. Or, or the pumpkin pie, strangely enough. I assume they're going to be needed for the event. But I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. It's rare. But it does happen. I've served 195 passengers. I've got a lot of distance to travel. And I will travel to all the cities. Just whilst I'm here. Anything in the caboose? Yes, I'm still using the wonderful caboose that I picked up for completing the event on Spooky Island. That's the Skelly Cargo Car. go to the wonderful trainery. All this stuff should be right down the bottom, if I can get right down the bottom. Yes, yeah, a lot of scrolling. A few cars. Right, this set of cars somewhere down here. I'm not sure which ones, but four or five of these cars are going to be the cars I'll get. I'm guessing five. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, 11. Okay, maybe more than 5. But there should be some unique cars that you get for this event. Okay, I'll get rid of the pumpkins. And collect that resource demand. Is one of them done. Uh, I definitely need the gravy, the mashed potato. 
come if I need the potato bag. I'll take it. I know I don't need the sweet potato, I do need the carrots. As we head off towards Turkey Town. Whichever one Turkey Town is, oh, the one at the top. Okay, then we'll tell it to go down this general direction next. Also, as part of this update, I believe they fixed some bugs with trains that without wheels. Although I'm not entirely sure they picked this burger one that doesn't appear to have any wheels. And, or cars, and um, they've done some updates to, I think there's a Portuguese and German language translations. And they completed, fixed some other bugs as well, apparently. They didn't name those bugs. So, once again... Thank you Tiny Titan Studios for improving the game, as well as giving me another reason to play it. I am trying to look for other games to play. In the meantime, I tried Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and it's an okay-ish game, but I'm not sure I want to record it. There are a few other little games which I will record for various reasons in the coming days. Okay, we can get rid of the squash. Take the gravy and the mashed potatoes. I didn't check if I need the potato bag. So we'll take it. If I don't need it, I don't need it. I can just shove it in my depot. Oh no, it's needed at Cranberry Cove. But yes, there are no current requirements for the pumpkin pie, the pumpkins or the sweet potatoes. I do like my, I do like this, this green light that give, being given out by these skelly cars, especially the headlight at the front of the train. I think that makes a nice change from the yellow light that's normally there on the front of carriages, and the skull with the, the moving bit that makes it look like a jaw. I think that's quite well done. Most of the rest of these skelly cars aren't that interesting to to look at. They've just got green lights on them. They don't change much when you upgrade them which is one of the reasons I will get rid of them. But they were on my train mainly so I could actually get them to be fully upgraded to their maximum level. Which takes a while. I go back through Ham Hills. Let's get that out of the plane. Yeah, I'll leave the sweet potatoes. At least for now. Got, got five more demands, or five more tasks to complete. I should complete the travel to cities pretty shortly. Collect gold from cars, shouldn't be too difficult. So passengers, travel the distance is going to be the one that's going to take me the longest. As this is a small island and I've got to travel quite a distance around it. So it's going to require a few circuits. Dindy Dindy. Okay, that's an interesting place. That's a very Australian name. They tend to name their places, or a lot of their places, with the same word twice. Which is kind of weird. They also tend to put the word Ville on the name, name of things like Townsville, amongst other places. Well, that's a interesting Australian fact. I, I heard... I can't remember if I was watching an episode of QI or The Unbelievable Truth or whichever, whatever I was watching and I do need the squash I think and the mashed potato. One of those show, British shows which tells you facts you weren't necessarily fully aware of and okay I'm heading down to Plymouth am I? Good that's why I drop off the apples. And then we'll head back over to Brussels Sprout. But, yes, kangaroos. Apparently, when Captain Cook landed, he had his Aboriginal guide, and he pointed at a kangaroo and asked what that was, and the response was kangaroo, which was appa is apparently the Aboriginal word for I don't know. So, okay, I've travelled to the Seven Cities. 
So that's what kangaroo apparently stands for. It is, means I don't know. Which, I don't know if that tale is apocryphal or if it's actually true. But I, could well be I can well believe that is true. Feel free to tell me I'm wrong. But I'm willing to believe that. That the word kangaroo means I don't know. So all these wonderful creatures you see in zoos, or if you go to Australia, you see running around in the wild, are called I don't know. I don't know what wallaby means. I don't know if it means anything. But kangaroo apparently means I don't know. There you go, you learn something new every every year. And I say learn something new every year? Well I Possibly not if you're in Britain as you're going into, as you've just gone into lockdown again for the whole country for a month. Okay, that gets rid of the apples. I'll take them, them, them. Oh. Take it all. I may not need it right now, but I'm sure I'll need some of it shortly. Oh, yes. Britain has gone back into lockdown for the month of November, which was a bit of a surprise, but they were trying their tier 1, 2, 3 local lockdowns and apparently that wasn't working. Whereas America, people are just gathering en masse and inflicting COVID on each other for fun, by the looks of it. Although Halloween was less busy than I was expecting in, certainly in my area. There, there again, I live in Northern Virginia. And Northern Virginia seems to be very good with the whole social distancing, people not going to work, and generally not congregating together, unlike other parts of this country which seem to have a problem with such things. We'll see how it all works out in the end. Okay, I can get rid of the potato bags, I might just take everything. So anyway, this was basically Harvest Island. I will be probably record another episode at the weekend when the actual event starts. But I did want to basically let everybody know that this this Harvest Island is available for, I believe it said for three weeks. So it's a shorter event than before. It will probably lead up to approximately Thanksgiving. I don't know exactly when it will end. But the little notification did say it was available for three weeks and three weeks only. So I don't know how strict that three weeks is. But I guess we'll find out in three weeks time. The last event on Spooky Island. Spooky whatever island it was. It actually took me... I think it was, it was done within just over two weeks. Uh, so I got all the cars and all the engines and everything from that island within a couple of weeks so this one hopefully will take about the same length of time okay oh you want gravy okay and we'll just take the beets I can get the sweet potatoes from so I'll take them I'll take them I can get them from South America if they are needed for the event well I'll have some well, that's pretty much it I say, once I complete enough of these wonderful tasks, which I'll soon have these serve the passengers, let me go to the caboose and collect a load of gold, see if I can get close to that. That's got to be... So that's pretty close, it looks like I've managed to collect the gold from cars. Yep, I've collected the gold from cars, the 100,000. I need to meet two market demands. I've done a quarter of the distance and deliver another 19 passengers. Let's have a burst of speed. I'm down to 13 million. Yes, I, I haven't been playing very often and I haven't been collecting a lot of money. But at some point I'm going to have to have a go at the gumball machine to see if I can get those elusive few cars which I haven't got, which is still in the gumball machine. It's something, I think it's probably less than 10 in total that I've got less left to collect. 
from the gumball machine. But as there's a uh, 200 plus cars in the gumball machine, the odds of actually managing to get the ones I'm missing rather than all duplicates. I think there's one point I spent 8 million on the gumball machine and I got all duplicates of cars I already have. So it's probably going to take me a while to get that lucky. Uh, okay, mashed potato. There you go, and we'll just take everything. And that should have got me the next one, which was serve 500 passengers. So, with luck, by the time I record the next episode at the weekend, I'll have met two market demands and I'll travel the distance. So, you'll see this tractor looking engine and green caboose on the on my train at that point that's it for now as always i hope you enjoyed or found it informative the fact that harvest island is available as, as a free update to this game on steam so get it play it enjoy get the unique cars and engines and add them to your collection as always Hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you down the track for more Tiny Rails in the near future. Cheerio!